Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to make the towers shoot really fast. Again, we're going to be using BTD Toolbox, so go ahead and get that open. While we're waiting for it to load, make sure to check the Discord servers if you guys need any help. And yes, I do want to reopen my previous files. You don't have to, but I just like it, so yeah. Anyways, get your project open. Go down to the weapon defi uh, definitions. And then go ahead and open up the Dart Monkey. Open up dartmonkey.weapon. Now here we can edit his range. So this is the range of the weapon itself. I'm gonna change this to like 1500. Now the cooldown time is how long it takes between each fire. So right here, let's say this was one, right? His cooldown time is one, one second. That means he's gonna throw his dart and then it's gonna take one second before he can throw his dart again. Now we got his fire delay. So let's say his fire delay is two seconds. What this means is once he sees the balloon and his cooldown time is done and he's able to fire, he's gonna have a delay of two seconds before he can fire. It's kind of like if it takes him two seconds to react to the fact that the balloon is there. So we can change both of these to something small. I'm gonna change this to like 0 0.01 for his delay time. And his cooldown time is going to be 0 0.01 as well. Now that's all fine and dandy, but it's still at the mercy of the weapon itself, or the projectile, I should say. Let me give you an example. So I've gone ahead and uh, made the mod, the one that we were just working on, and I've placed my dart monkey down. You can see he's got this super wide range. If I start firing, it looks like he's firing pretty fast. You know, look at that. That's pretty cool but he's not actually firing as fast as you think because the dart itself is only able to move so fast and the dart itself only has so much of a range. So while the dart monkey's dart weapon can go fast and its weapon has a long range, the actual dart itself might not. So that's what this part is. So we're gonna change the speed of the weapon to go to 1800 and the cutoff distance is basically how far into the range does the dart just kind of die. So think of it like um, a bow and an arrow. You might technically be able to shoot the arrow super far, but at some point gravity's gonna take it and it's gonna hit the ground. So even if the towers uh, or the weapons range is infinite, if the cutoff distance isn't far, it won't matter because the dart will just disappear. It'll go into the ground basically like an arrow would. So we're going to change this to like 1500 as well. You can change this to whatever you want. Now the number of persists is basically uh, each balloon that you pop or each layer that it pops is going to basically count for uh, something. The number of persists is how many of those counts this dart can take before it disappears. Or in other words, how many balloons can this dart go through before it gets stuck? Like an arrow would get stuck in a wall or something. One persist means it can only go through one layer of a balloon or it can only go through one balloon. Basically, if it's a red balloon, it can only go through a red balloon. If it's a blue balloon, it can only go through that one blue layer. Terminate on zero persists means that it'll disappear after that. If we set terminate on zero persists to false, the balloon, sorry, the dart would still be going, but since it only has one persist, it would kind of just do nothing. Let's go ahead and set this to 15 and terminate on zero persists to be false. Now I've got a pretty OP dart right here. We'll cover the rest of this stuff in another video. For now, let's go ahead and launch. It's compiling our jet, launching our game, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so we are in game. I'm gonna take my dart monkey and look at that. His range is insane So now I'm gonna start I don't know if you guys can tell the difference But it is shooting the darts faster now than it was earlier in the video because we increased the speed of the dart itself Not just its fi its weapons firing speed But that's pretty insane. It's moving so fast. So we're not even seeing his hand move look at on fast forward It's going so fast. It's going slow Yeah, that's crazy Dang! So I've gone in sandbox mode. Let's see what he does against an MOAB. Woo! Dang! He is annihilating that thing. Let's grab another one. Let's try a BFB now. That's pretty cool. 
Anyways, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching.